life in the spirit is a risk my dear friends jesus in the high priest prayer is strongly praying for you and for me for all those who are given to him because he had to protect them protect them from danger protect them from illusions cheatings of the satan because it's so subtle sometimes you you miss the point unknowingly you you fall off the track so that's why jesus is praying so it's not simple it is not easy to have the focus right focus focus pro properly connected to him always because the devil is like a roaring lion roaring devour trying to devour devour whenever it is possible that's why he says i'm no longer in the world but they are in the world and i come to you holy father keep those you have given me in your name so that they may be one as we also are so that's jesus prayer when i was with them i kept them safe in your name see the protection and not one was lost except the one who was already lost and in the scripture was this the krish uh, in this the scripture was fulfilled and now now i come to you in the world in the world i speak these things so that those whom you gave me might have joy all my joy with within themselves i have given them your word and the world has hated them because they are not of the world just as i am not of the world i do not ask you to remove them from the world but i keep them from evil one but to keep them from the evil one they are not of the world just as i am not of the world concentrate them in consecrate them in truth your word is truth i have sent them into the world as you sent me into the world and for their sake i go to the sacrifice by which i am consecrated so that they too may be consecrated in truth this is exactly why jesus is praying jesus is praying to protect us all those who are consecrated to him from the evil one not to take us away from the world no not to ease our lives no so we are, he will be there with us in the storm in the waters in the fire in the valley but then we have to go through that that's it paul is warning in the same way when he had to leave it's beautiful you read the first reading keep watch over yourself yourselves and over the whole flock the holy spirit has placed into your care so what jesus has gathered is passed on generation to generation so we all have a flock given by the holy spirit what jesus had then the same mission of jesus we have to accomplish shepherd the church of the lord that they have that he has won at the price of his own blood this is exactly what jesus said in the prayer i know that after i leave ruthless ruthless wolves will come among you and not spare a flock this is exactly what jesus prayed you have to be careful and you have to protect your flock given to you it's not easy that's life in the spirit is targeted set a vintage point it's targeted so you have to be very careful very careful ruthless and from among you some will arise corrupting the truth and including the disciples to follow them this is exactly what has happened today isn't it all the church is segmented broken into the parts is terrible it's terrible so we have to protect it. jesus wanted to be one that oneness that uniformity in the church be on the watch therefore 
remembering that for three years, night and day, I did not cease to warn everyone, even with tears. Now I command you to God and His grace-filled word, which I, which is able to make you grow and gain in the inheritance that you shall share with all the saints. But then Paul had to leave, allowing them to grow. Jesus had to leave, allowing us to grow. You have to leave, allowing the flock that given to you, because it has to grow. So it's a journey. We all are in that journey. I have not looked for anyone's silver, gold or clothing. You are yourself know that these hands of mine have provided for both my needs and the needs of those who were with me in every way I have shown you that by working hard, one must help the weak. Remembering the words of the Lord, Jesus himself said, happiness lies more than more in giving than receiving. Paul is a tent maker. He worked. He set an example. He never depended on people. And he was so strong in this mission. But then he had to part, depart. He had to separate and go away. At this discourse, Paul knelt down with them and prayed. Then they all began to weep and threw their arms around him and kissed him. They were deeply distressed because he said, he has said that they would never see him again. And they went with them, went with him even to the ship. And Paul went away. My dear friends, it's a journey. It's a journey that we have to be really, really careful. The devil in the world will tarnish that, that image. He's waiting until appropriate time to be attacked to attack you. So you have to protect your flock. And also you have to be protected properly because it's not easy. The moment you say yes to the Lord, the war begins here in the world. You'll be rejected, thrown away, cornered because you said yes. So be careful, beware. It's not simple. It's a spiritual warfare that you are truly, strongly, and you're going to be engaged in when you start empowering yourself with the anointing of the Spirit. Think about it. Be careful. Protect your flock. Start your journey. Letting them mature by themselves. By surrendering, consecrating them to the hands of the Lord. You have to move on, leaving them to the Lord, my dear friends. Amen. May God bless you.